23-year-old Sandeep Sajwal is the first ever Indian breaststroker to qualify for the finals of the 50-meter breaststroke event at the Commonwealth Games. He represented India in two events at the 2008 Olympics and has recently qualified for the 2012 Olympics in the 100-meter and 200-meter breaststroke categories. Here's the Delhi boy talking about his growth, challenges of being an athlete in India, the undying support of his mother and what he set his eyes on. Sandeep, tell me about your journey as an athlete. It has been a very difficult journey because I start, when I started swimming, my family other than my mom didn't support me. They didn't want me and my sister to you know, just go out and because my father passed away when I was very young so my mom had to you know, go with us everywhere we went so they didn't really like it. It was really difficult you know, to continue with school studies and swim for both sessions in the morning and in the evening. So it has been a difficult journey but now it has become, a, uh, become much easier because now since I've finished my graduation I have full time I can concentrate on my swimming and there is so much better support uh, now than it was earlier. Right now it's actually very good but earlier it has been a real struggle for me. So what's changed? You know, how has your family's attitude towards your swimming interest changed over the years and why? Well, uh, earlier it was, you know, only my mom was supporting me and my sister. But uh, right now the whole family, all my uncles and aunties and everyone, everyone is really supporting me because maybe because of the performance that I have given in the recent years. Mm -hmm. it, it is a little easier for me now to concentrate more on swimming because since the whole family is with me, I can you know, perform a little more better and freely. And Go Sports also is supporting us, that's our managing company. And when you didn't have all this support, how did you manage? How did you support yourself? Well, it was just my mom supporting me throughout the swimming career. Still, she's still supporting me because, you know, I've been staying in Bangalore for six years and she's staying in Delhi and Delhi with my sister and working there. We came from a very middle class family. It was very difficult for my mom to, you know, fund me and my sister both to, you know, to swim and to you know, get, get into all the swimming classes that she had to pay for. So your sister is a swimmer as well? She was a swimmer, so she recently quit. She, once okay. she got into college, she, she didn't swim. Okay. It's become a little easier because since I am also working now. So where do you work? Well, I work for Western Railways. It's a government job, but you know, uh, I don't really go to office and work. I just have to swim and they just pay me salary in the account. So that's really nice. Tell me about people who have been most inspiring and motivating for you. Well, my mom, she has been the most uh, inspiring person I've ever seen and I've ever met. And second is my coach, Niha Rami, who's been supporting me throughout my career, even though my performance was not, not that great in 2010 and 2009. He was there with me. Both of them have been you know, really a good support for me to you know, perform better at uh, this level. And if you look up to someone for inspiration, who would that be? Uh, definitely my coach. Because you know he was the only person who you know who was with me with uh, when I was not performing well and there were all kind of different questions that is my career over or can he still swim or was it the suit that he was swimming in? He's been supporting me throughout, so I think he's the real inspiration for me now. What does it mean to be a professional athlete in India today? It's a very very tough job to be an athlete in this country because there are no job opportunities for any athletes other than cricket. If you are a cricketer, you are a superstar. But other than cricket, I don't see any career opportunities for any other, you know, either swimmers or athletes. There are no good jobs. If you look at the money prospect, there are there. I don't think there is enough money for any sports uh, sports person to you know just live live uh, to make a living for. It is a difficult job in India to be a sportsman other than cricket. Mm -hmm. So what motivates you on a daily basis? It's the Olympics and there are 16 events in the Olympics and a swimmer can win all 16. So if you are, if you are a very good swimmer, you can win 16 Olympic goals. Uh, that's the motivation that I have in my life. So how do you feel about London 2012? It's going to be a very tough Olympics because the standards of become much more higher than what it was in 2008. So right now you're in your training period? Yeah, right now we are in the peak okay. training team. So what is what does peak training period mean? I mean, what's your, what's your day like? Well, day starts at 5 o'clock in the morning. We have 3 hours of swimming. Then we rest for about 2 hours. Then we have gym. Gym for another 2 hours. Then we have uh, 
about five hours to recover from two tough workouts. Then we are swimming again from five o'clock to eight o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. So it's like eight hours of training. And what's your diet like? Well, diet we just eat anything. Uh -huh. so, yeah, we we actually need calories. So we, I personally eat a lot of junk. That's my secret. Okay, by junk, what do you mean? By junk, I mean lots of biscuits, uh -huh. cakes, chocolates, and so many other things. Okay, so if I ever he hear of a cake buffet somewhere, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, sure, thanks. So what would have been your most vulnerable moment as an athlete? Well, so far, the 20, uh, 2008 uh, Olympics that I swam in, former world record holder was there and the current world record holder was there. So it was lucky for me, but unlucky at the same time because I couldn't see them race because they were racing with me. So it was a big, uh, big, big opportunity for me, a big okay. motivational okay. stage in my life. Okay, but why was, why did you feel vulnerable there? To race all the athletes, world class athletes is, is, is one thing, but you know, if you're racing the world champions, the world record holders, it's a real different feeling because you know they're, that they're good, they are better than you. You know that they're going to win. But you still try your best to, you know, be as close to them or touch or finish before them in the race. Sure. And do you aim to be a world record holder one Definitely. day? Definitely. Every every sports person should dream of, dream the same. And if you're not dreaming the same, then your goals, you I don't think you can be a good athlete. Thank you so much for joining us on Chai with Lakshmi. Pleasure. And good luck to you in achieving your goals. Thank you so much.